Thank you for choosing BioLite, and welcome to part 1 of this clinical user training for BioLite E30. This video provides an overview of the physical features and how to power the device. The AC main power cable is connected at the left side of the device. The patient cable is connected on the right side of the device. For 0.3 inch TFT LCD display with touch screen. This is the AC power indicating lamp. Green light turns on if AC mains power is connected. This is the battery status indicating lamp. Orange light turns on if battery is recharging. The light will be off after recharging finished. This is equipment operation indicating lamp. Green light turns on when equipment is running. Green light twinkling when it enters standby. Press the power switch to turn the device on. Press and hold it to turn the device off. Direction and confirm button are here. This is function button area, it includes menu button, working mode switch button, waveform gain select button, filter bandwidth select button, skin speed select button, record button. To load ECG paper, press down the paper pin open button to open the paper pin, remove the packaging of new chart paper, and then place the chart paper into recorder box. Pull out chart paper from the paper outlet, keep the thermosensitive side, printed with grids, upward, firmly close the recorder box and the installation is completed. Second part of this clinical user training will cover instructions for the recommended system setup to be completed prior to using the device for the first time. Press the menu key and press new patient in main menu to enter patient info setup interface. Ensure the following boxes are filled up. Patient ID, name, gender, and age. Once completed, press OK to return to the previous menu. In the basic setup menu, select AAMI or IEC as the lead notation. Select power off delay to set the automatic shut off time of the electrocardiograph in case of power supply by built-in battery. Select the preferred language. Input hospital name and it will be displayed in ECG report. Select key volume may open or close the volume of key sound and option for demonstration and calibration. Press system to set the time, date, and date format. After setting up, select OK to go to main menu. Then select start to start measurement. On the main screen, it has system info area, current time, working mode, prompt info area. And press here to select the lead number on screen display. One lead, three lead, Six lead. Twelve lead. Press here to adjust the waveform scanning speed and the paper moving speed of recorder. Press here to adjust the waveform gain. Press here to adjust the bandwidth of filter. Press here to select the format of record report. After setting up, these settings will be the default each time the device is turned on. E30 has three different working mode, auto mode, manual mode, rhythm mode. During ECG recording in auto mode, the lead group will switch over automatically in order, for example, after the recording of ECG signals of leads in a group is completed within the specified period, the machine will switch over automatically to the next lead group and begin to record the ECG signals of the next lead group. In manual mode, users may select lead group according to actual needs and conduct different setups of recording parameters or other parameters for different lead groups. In rhythm mode, users may select lead according to actual needs and record the rhythm waveform of single lead within 60 seconds or rhythm waveforms of three leads within 20 seconds each. This ensures a long rhythm strip will be printed if critical events occur. Now we will explain how to acquire ECG reports and review patient data. Attach the patient cables as poor standard 12 lead ECG placement to the patients. For accessories, E30 provides 15 pin, 10 wires patient cable. It supports disposable tab electrodes or disposable adhesive electrodes. ECG patient cable adapter. Chest suction electrodes or limb clip electrodes. The lead wires are color-coded, and a reference diagram can be seen on the trunk cable for your references. 
switch on the device using the power key. Alerts such as let off will be highlighted in a banner at the top of the screen. Press the patient ID key to enter patient details. Input the patient details. Click OK once finished. Waveform settings can be viewed and adjusted along the bottom of the screen. To make adjustments, simply tap the relevant key to cycle through the options. To acquire an auto measurement ECG report. Ensure your patient has been still for 10 seconds. And press the record panel to start recording. The machine will stop automatically after a complete ECG diagram is recorded. In manual mode, users may select lead group and conduct different setups of recording parameters or other parameters for different lead groups. In rhythm mode, users may select lead and record the rhythm waveform of single lead within 60 seconds or rhythm waveforms of three leads within 20 seconds each. Select Auto Save feature, ECG reports will be automatically saved to the device memory after printing. Select default medium according to actual needs, like flash drive, SD card, or U-Disk. Also measure, analysis, patient info can be selected to be displayed on the report. It also has pre-sample, real-time sample, and trigger sample mode. When pre-sample is selected, collection of ECG data begins as soon as lead is connected to patient. When real-time sample is selected, if the user press record button, record of the ECG data collected within 10 seconds after pressing this key will be exported. When trigger sample is selected, if the user press record button, device will automatically trigger record once in case of arrhythmia. E30 has fixed internal memory for 200 groups of ECG data. It can review, edit, record, delete or transmit patient data in file management window. Press Files in Main Menu to enter File Management Interface to view the desired report. Thank you for watching. Buy a Light Meditech.